Hello, everybody. My name is Steve Hirschberger, and I am uh, here for the July episode of The Dish TV. Uh, in this segment, uh, we're going to spend a little bit of time uh, talking with some of our different team members around North America and learn a little bit not only about who they are and what makes them important as members of our professional team, but also uh, a little bit about where they live and the, the different products that they create. So uh, I'd like to introduce a couple of our teammates that are from north of the border. So gentlemen, uh, go ahead and introduce yourself, uh, yourselves to the, uh, the Harlan group of employees here. Hello folks, uh, thanks for the opportunity. Um, my name is Derek Mumford. I'm the plant manager at uh, our Coke and Kentville plant, uh, specializing in a number of different pies. And uh, my colleague to my right, I'll, I'll let him introduce himself. I'm Dwayne Parker, and uh, I manage uh, special projects at CI here in, uh, in Kentville. And uh, as Derek stated, we make all kinds of different pies, many varieties, cream pies, fruit pies, apple pies, you name it, we make them. So one quick question for you as you introduce yourself. Uh, you use a term that I think a lot of our viewers may not be familiar with, and that's CI. What exactly is CI, and, and, and what does that entail and what you do? Uh, CI refers to continuous improvement, so we want to be better tomorrow than we are today, and uh, that's what we strive for each day. And we hope that all of uh, all of our teammates agree with uh, with uh, that uh, with some of the you know the things, the initiatives that we put forward to uh, be better tomorrow than we are today. Well, I hear I, there's a nasty rumor floating around that, that within the Harlan family of companies that we make pretty good pies. In fact, uh, what I've also heard is that we, we've won an award or two recently. Um, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the, 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 the awards that we won and, and the quality of our pies and then kind of delve into the history of the company? Well, we've, uh, we've won several awards over the years. Uh, most recently, um, uh, the year before last, certainly last year, uh, that, well, this year was uh, canceled, the American Pie Council, because of COVID. But... Um, Historically, we've won awards every year uh, for the last several years for uh, our pies, and uh, we have a long history of making pies. We've been making pies uh, with Apple Valley Foods for over 20 years, and uh, Jeff Sarsfield, who's our president, has had uh, experience with his uh, family's previous company, Sarsfield Foods. So uh, we've probably got over 30 years of pie making experience. Wow, that's that's a lot. And, uh... If I recall, you won more than one blue ribbon last year. Yeah, yeah we we won uh, several blue, blue ribbons last year. I can't remember the number. I, I should have studied this one. Oh, I think it was nineteen. It was nineteen. Okay. Nineteen. So uh, 19 from I, I, they they technically down down here in the U.S. we call that running the table. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's what we call it up here too. So yeah, yeah, that's true. So. Uh, Tell us a little bit about the history of, of Apple Valley as part of the, the Harlan Foods family of companies. What, where did it come from and what makes it so special? Well, we, uh, we started in uh, 1999 and um, we uh, began making uh, primarily apple pies for uh, Tim Hortons, which is a, uh, a coffee and donut company here in uh, Canada. And uh, quickly, uh, began distributing pies across Canada and the U.S. to uh, to Walmart in the U.S., who became one of our biggest uh, early customers, and uh, that's when our relationship with uh, with Harlan began. And uh, Harlan uh, helped us with their distribution systems, and we were able to uh, put pies in all four corners of the United States. Now, you were you started in 1999. You've grown to sell pies uh, in the four corners of North America. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, we, um, I, I don't think there's a part of North America that we don't serve when it comes to pies. Uh, you know, the largest uh, uh, grocery chains uh, you know, in, in North America, really. A lot of that uh, success has come from our ability to be able to turn new products out very quickly and efficiently. And, uh, you know, probably, um, with, without bragging, we're probably one of the best in the industry with uh, meeting customer demands and or introducing products that customers don't know they want until they see them 
they get excited about them and, uh, and we, uh, we provide them. And so before we get into our second question, I want to I want to ask you um, a follow up to that. You, you you said something that I think is really interesting, and you said sometimes uh, you are able to help customers identify things that that they don't know that they want or that they don't know till they see it. That's a pretty powerful thing, uh, and clearly the results speak for themselves if we're moving product across all four corners of North America, but. How do you do that? Well, some people, um, some customers think they know uh, what what a, what makes a good pie, and, and a lot of times they do because they've uh, they've bought pies that they they like, or they've made pies at home, or grandmother made a pie that they, they really enjoyed, and uh, it becomes a staple for them. Uh, what we've done is, uh, you know, we've had you know over over thirty years experience uh, in the pie business, so. We've seen all the different approaches to making pies, and uh, we try to, to do unique things that set uh, customers apart from one another. And uh, you know, uniquely, we've we've offered some of our uh, our larger customers uh, different types of apples. I'll use Honeycrisp as an example, uh, or Golden Delicious. Some of the more unique varieties that uh, are not part of the everyday pie that you'd see in the store. So. Uh innovation and and continuous improvement which is many think another form of innovation is really in the dna right so would you say that that's part of what makes you food professionals absolutely so um we've got employees that span from the southern part of the u.s to the rocky mountains and, and all parts uh, to the the atlantic ocean and all parts in between um for, for those that have, are not familiar with where you guys are located, tell us a little bit about what it's like uh, to live and work uh, in your area of the world. Sure. That's, uh, frankly, that's one of the reasons I'm here, uh, that in Apple Valley. The fact is, Kettle's a small little town, up to 15,000 people, maybe. Uh -huh. uh, we're close to bordering the Bay of Fundy and also the Atlantic Ocean on the other side. Uh, Nova Scotia as, as a province is nearly an island, connected by a small isthmus into New Brunswick. Um, it's interesting because here in Kentville, it's amazing how many people you will speak to in this immediate area who have no idea that the largest, or nearly the largest pie maker in Canada is sitting right in their own small town. Tremendous amount of ownership in what we do, whether you're a line operator, whether you're a CI manager, uh, whether you're a mixer, they all, this is a family business, but it's truly family because the employees uh, participate and, 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 uh, and actually take ownership in what we're doing. What is it uh, that is so special about our, our team of food professionals that make the products that we make exceptional? And the fact of the matter is it's almost like a food safety. Food safety doesn't exist without quality in the first place. If you have 100% quality, you automatically have food safety. If you don't have ownership of those employees, you don't have that innovation. You don't have that trust within the organization. You don't have that culture. You don't have the culture where I don't need to walk down and offline and check those pies and micromanage that because the people who are there take responsibility and ownership in what they're doing. That's the nature of, of the way this company was built. And it's, it's a really strong, it's a strong knit team. And so whether it's our R&D team, whether it's our QA team, uh, if anyone, if everyone is not part of that, and I know that sounds quaint and, 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 and off the tongue, but if everyone's not a part of that, then pieces fall off. And it's, it's probably the most cohesive and organic organization I've ever worked with. Um, invariably, wherever you see anything that's not working properly, it's generally because that accountability and ownership isn't taken on by, by the employees. And, and I know I'm going to make a terrible quote here, but I think it was Simon Sefix that people don't actually follow what it is you're trying to do. They follow it because they believe in what you're doing. Before we wrap up, gentlemen, because I know that we, we are uh, stacking pies up, if, 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 am I correct in understanding that, that we can turn out 100,000 pies a day? We've uh, been just shy of 200,000 pies a day uh, on, uh, well, more than one occasion. So, you know, our, our average is in the area of about uh, 150 to 170 a day. 
Uh, thank you very much for your time. Kudos for your efforts, both in uh, the operations that, that you work on, as well as the products that you turn out. I know we delight customers every single day. Uh, as food professionals, my hat is off to you, and I am surely glad you are on our team rather than our competitors. We are too. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you very much. Recently, I was asked, what makes a good bagel? Well, if you ask each one of our customers that very same question, you're likely to get several different answers. Some of our customers like a tough, chewy bagel, while others like a really soft bagel like you find in the bread aisle. Some of our customers like their bagels sliced, while others like their bagels whole without a slice. And yet others like a little bitty bagel. And we've even had customers who asked for a square bagel. And even though our customers may all like something that's different, that's okay. Because they're successful. And that makes Harlem Bakeries and you successful. The key is to understand what the customer's definition or idea of what makes a good bagel is and match it every time. As long as we all make products that meet or exceed the customer's expectations and idea of what makes a good bagel, then it's a good bagel. And any bagels that don't meet the customer's expectations or target are considered waste. And that is bad for Harlan Bakeries and for you because then it's made into chicken feed, and we're not in the business to make chicken feed. Waste is the enemy of Harlem Bakeries and everyone else who works here as a food professional. So always understand what the target is and match it right the first time every time. Now that's a good bagel.
here today to recognize James Murphy for his excellent performance and leadership here in the facility at Harlan Bakers for this month. So James has been with us for five, five and a half years in yes, the facility. He's held down numerous roles in the bakery. He has recently been moved into a, a team leadership role where he's doing very well and he's continuing to progress. So we wanted to present you first with this recognition certificate from us for uh, leadership performance excellence here for this July. Absolutely. In conjunction with that, we have uh, a little thank you card that outlines a little bit more about that certificate. And then, of course, the extra thank you card, which is a gift certificate for you to, to take care of it. Without my team, I wouldn't be where I'm at. All right. 